comfortable in his skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very relaxed. Do you like seeing your body? Oh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's an, it just seemed like you were having a good time. You said it was the first song? It was the first French song I ever sang, 16 yeah. years old. Oh. <laughs> Did it sound like that? Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Because it goes on and on and on, with very little break. All of these long phrases, and at least for the soprano, in the soprano range, it sits very much in the passaggio, which is a the break. I don't know how it is for you. Uh, the only thing I would suggest, really, beyond a couple of little French things, which I'll let Denise attend to, I, I, wish, um, I wish your focus were more specific in this piece, because I often think that the vision could be half, it could be a you know, he's remembering vision, uh, uh, which is, and it's so beautiful. And I, I don't mind the ardor and the passion with which you sing, which, with which you sing this piece, but I wish that we were more aware of you, uh, uh, in terms of your focus, of, of, of you seeing it, of you seeing it. And which might mean that for long stretches, you could be still. You know, this is a piece actually that I think can largely be Intimate, more intimate, a little bit more, more interior until come back. Mm -hmm. You want to tell the audience a little bit about what this vision is? Uh, sure. Um, By the way, your name too, because they don't. Oh, out. I'm Alex Tall. Hi. <laughs> um, the, the man is having a dream in which he uh, he he sees his beloved, and the first verse he's talking about the vision of her herself and. Her, her beautiful eyes and her sonorous voice and just uh, about her. And then in the second verse, they, they sort of take off together and the clouds part for them and they kind of take off to, you know, to, to be together forever, whatever. And um, <laughs> then he wakes up and uh, he calls on the night to bring back this dream because uh, he liked it. It was nice. <laughs> nice <memory. laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said something wrong. Okay. You said it's a man having a dream. <coughs> it's a man telling about a dream he had. Yeah. And to tell it, you have to be awake, obviously. <laughs> so it's out of the dream. He tells you the dream he had. And then he wished his dream, in vain, of course, he wished his dream would come back because it was so more beautiful in the dream than in his real life. But you're not in the dream. Right. You're just you're telling these people the dream you had. Mm -hmm. And maybe that will make a difference as well in the approach of the piece. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the way it's written. Every time you have a syllable that is very long, mm -hmm. enjoy it. Yeah. You have it, it's a pattern. Dans un sommeil que j'avais en image, je rêvais le bonheur avant miracle. Les yeux étaient plus doux car on pleurait son or. Je rayonnais comme un ciel éclairé par l'aurore. See it coming. That's why you go. That's the start of the piece. Mm -hmm. Of course, those are all, always at the end of the phrase. You know, I'm, not, I'm always just hoping I get through it. <laughs> we don't slow down. We don't slow down. <laughs> we, we all appreciate your intensity so much. And, you know, we try to get more from the people who don't want to do it. And the people who come out and do something, we say, no, oh, don't do so much. <laughs> sing this song is, is, and the energy is very good, but as Renee pointed out, don't, don't be afraid to sort of go back into that dream state. There are certain places where, um, je rêvais le bonheur, pardon, mirage, you know, you can, you can just sort of bring the voice down a little bit. There, there are, uh, I marked one place which I thought would be a lovely uh, phrase that could start piano. Um, oh, to m'appeler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you sort of started it rather fervently, and I thought, you know, you could, you could remember that. You could remember to m'appeler as you keep it up there. You call to me. You can sort of remember that. And it, you know, it, it's, it's like when you're trying to tell a dream, you know, you wake up in the morning and, and you say, I have this dream. And you try to tell it, and sometimes you, you try to go back into it, mm -hmm. and it seems very vague, and you sort of start almost talking to yourself. Because really, when you're telling someone your dream, 
you're the only one really getting anything out of it. <laughs> <laughs> So beautiful. 